Hello, welcome back to another collector versus hoarder video. I pulled out these two books to make a video yesterday. The two Star Wars 42 Boba Fett. And I talk about them as well. I talk about the grade. I think I gave one was a 9.2 and an 8.5. And it's a collector. For sure, over the past decade, okay, I have improved as well as changed my way of grading some books. Sometimes something that I graded 10 years ago went up and sometimes it went down, okay? Because I evolve, I change, I learn, uh, I adapt, okay? So I graded these Good God, 10 years ago, if not even longer, right? So they stay in the cabinet and the mylar for all these years. And when I pull them out to do the video and say, oh, you know, maybe I should submit them to CGC and sell them. And I'm like, I gave this book that grade, those grades? I don't think so. So now that I review them again, I think... It's not likely to be 8.5 to 9.2. Is it still possible that this book get the grade? But I will submit them to CGC in the next batch. I think 8.0 and 9.0 is more likely. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see um, what the grades will be. With, whether my revised uh, thinking is more in line with reality than... Um, what I thought these books were 10 years ago. So yeah, 8.0 and 9.0. Just way too many spine ticks and other little flaws here and there. The the, the one I give an 8.0 even have a little tears. It's not a it's big tear. It's like a, a quarter inch tear on the back here. But we'll see. We'll see if I, I'm a little bit too harsh today compared to say 10 years ago. So that's a collector. As far as hoarder, I went in the cabinet and not a heck of a lot of O. Okay, I used to have a lot of O. Guess what? Our fighting force, our army at war, all the DC war books. But guess what? Back in February, early March, I sold my collection of DC war books. Yeah, but I kept a few. I kept a few for sentimental reason, some of my favorite covers of the run, and that's all I have left. There's no O in the cabinet except for these few books of our army at war and our fighting force. Let me show you the few that I kept. Um, you know, for the majority of the DC war books, you don't see a lot of underwater cover right so here we go look at this this is just a gorgeous copy you know near mint look at that look at how sharp the couple spine takes okay there's like three or four spine tick but seriously when when do you see silver age dc war book in this high grade yeah when on my channel <laughs> yeah <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah when other than my channel <laughs> wow I need to calm myself down a little bit there our army at war now I like this one great cubert cover Beautiful praying cover. Yeah. Check out the gloss, the shine. Oh yeah. Look at that drawing. Look at that gorgeous praying cover. Joe Kubert. Yeah. Another blazer. Blazer. Look at that. Yeah. Can you see why I I am keeping these books. Here's another one. Look at that 
beauty. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sergeant Rock is here. Great cover. Last but not least, beautiful color scheme here. Gorgeous color scheme here, okay? You know how much I love purple and green, right? And then you add in yellow. Hello. Hello, beauty. Hello, gorgeous. Look at this shine. Look at the shine, the gloss, the drawing, the composition of this cover. Look at that. Look at that, and look at the structure of the book. Once again, near mint stunner. Where else would you see it, right? Where else? <laughs> well, anyhow, that's it for this hoarder versus collector because there's not much as far as hoarding with the O. How about the P? I'm, I'm sure some people can guess what's in the P as far as hoarding, right? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.